Well, I could remember being very, very sad. I, I kind of broke the news to those that didn't know it already during my, um, my then Friday night show on Radio 1, and I was sort of lucky stroke. Lucky is maybe the wrong word, but I attended Tony's funeral as well. Um, it was just a vast quantity of people from all over the country. Um, there, was, there was clearly shock, because over the years, very few significant players within dance music have, have, have passed away, and even... even fewer of, of the who are absolutely at their prime like Tony was. Um, so I found out I was, um, I was still in my day job at the time um, and I had a phone call at work actually from Madders from Sunday Central uh, just telling me that he'd, he'd, he'd passed away um, and I was pretty speechless and dumbstruck really I just didn't you know I knew he hadn't been well but you know I didn't know the circumstances and uh, yeah, it, it, was a, it was a real shock. And um, there's still times today where, you know, I still feel myself getting a little bit choked about it because it's, it was such a big thing really. And it had such an impact on so many people, um, you know, myself included professionally, but and personally as a friend as well. Um, but yeah, it was, it was quite a shock really. I just arrived back from Ibiza. I basically got the flight back to London arrived in our offices, which is across the road from the Egg nightclub. And I was meeting with the Tidy Boys, and they were just, uh, they were basically, uh, because they were, we were putting together the uh, Trade EP. I listened to it and I thought, God, this is weird. This is so totally different from what Tony's type of tracks that Tony would, uh, would produce, would write. I mean, it was very, 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 very moving. And I know for a fact that, it, uh, Tony loved a little bit of trance with his music. I know all this. It was very, very moving. And I thought, oh, God, it's like... <laughs> it's... I thought it was like a requiem for a mass. And I thought, this is... I said, this is good, you know? And I thought, I'm not going to say anything. And then I get... A, there's a phone call. And I start... Uh, and the, um, I said, well, pick up the phone, one of the staff at the office. And, and uh, they said, Lawrence, it's important. It's Tony. Oh, I said, well, tell him to hold on. He said, no, it's not about Tony. Tony's, no, he said, it's not Tony. It's about Tony. It was Simon Sadler from Kiss saying that Tony was dead. I, 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 there's, I, I don't think there'll be even a week goes by without me thinking about Tony in some, you know, in some light. And the, the thing is, you know, if you're not thinking about it, these people, you're dreaming about these people. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it really, it, yeah, it affects me really, really badly. I was by side. Me and, uh, me and Alex, his best friend, spent the last night with him. Uh, I was by side from the day he went to hospital to the day he died. Every day. Day and night. It was hard. I don't know how many weeks it was, but it was, it was, it was tough. It was tough. None of us really expected the outcome anyway, to be honest. I remember him telling me that he was ill and it was hard to watch, really. Um, It wouldn't have been any good because it's what he loved doing and I think if, if he could have chosen um, he would have just carried on anyway. I don't think I, don't think I realised how big he was until he died really. I think that's, you know, one of those things that we were, we were really shocked about, yeah. But it's lovely that he's left this behind. It's the one thing I can say that if he'd wanted to leave anything behind would be his music for people to listen to and be happy about. Um, and yeah, it's, it shocks me after 20 years that, that we've come to this. It's wonderful, really. And not many of us could say we'd leave this behind. So yeah, it is fabulous.